Welcome back, everyone, to Vanilla Hoy Forum, your host, Mr. Translitania Lover. Ah, but apparently the Polish Commonwealth, or Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, hands over the Galician and Bukovinian lands. The reasonable Mingdaugus III of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth has agreed to hand over their territories in Galicia and Bukovina, and so their troops to stand down with from the area. We stand victorious once again. And so does Romania. Oh, look at that. That looks really bad. I mean, it looks like that. Uh, and what does that do? Well, would you look at that? This is disgusting. Translitania go up and around, and now we have this area too. And it's a core state, which is great for us. It's just fantastic. I didn't honestly think they would give it to us. I was very surprised when I played it up. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Well, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, what is that one? What is that one here? Here, make sure we get some updated planes. So in the meantime, we're doing Ustora, the Duchy Accession. Um, so we're going to still push them for even more stuff here. Um, it's 1941, so we've been doing really well. It helps that we've balkanized, you know, pretty much everybody. Every, everyone in the world, so. And, uh, let's see. One of the comments says, uh, play as Communist Germany. I know, honestly, I was thinking about playing as Communist Germany, but now that you said it, I'll probably play as Communist Germany then. Because that sounds like a lot of fun, in all honesty. Uh, let's see. Anything else here do we really care about? No, not really. I guess we can do that one, I suppose. Uh, still can't do anything here, there, whatever. It is fine. Let's save our political power for now. 9% research speed. Not bad. We do need it to catch up with everything. Uh-huh. That would be nice. Other than that, the world's not moving too much. We have to get the Turkey Federal Republic. Better anti-air is nice, I guess. I'll grab that. Thank you very much. Uh, Japan is still Japan. China is still trying to reunify. Um, actually, splitting the world like this wouldn't be too bad Maybe playing as Greece sometime. I think it would be kind of fun. Uh, Wilhelm Elgert. Let's see. Good. Just keep adding to our army. No, they say no. I'll be quite interested. And Silesia. Ah. Giving upgrades. You're just horses. Which I might want to turn into like tanks sometime if we get there. Um, so we'll go with that one. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And what do they say? Their support weapons are very good too. Because they did throw a, a thing of uh, artillery onto our soldiers here as well. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Uh -huh. uh, a multi ethnic empire. Entry of Bohemian and Austrian industries. Which wouldn't be bad either. But we're going to reintegrate Slovakia. So if you don't do this, we'll please go ahead. I want to see what they say first before you try to make a. Uh, Supply point there. And they hand over the Silesian territories. Katowice. Oh, well, Silesia does. Oh, Silesia hands it over too. The reasonable Joseph Kozdon of the Silesia has agreed to hand over the territories of Silesia. Until the troops stand down with drop in the air, we stand for tourists once again. Oh. We straight up annex them. How absolutely beautiful. What if we went to war but didn't call any of our puppets in? first. So now the Kingdom of Bohemia, Moravia, and Silesia, Silesia got that. Interesting. I thought we got that. Well, I guess we did not. Well, this is honestly really ugly and disgusting. The Habsburg Alliance looks okay, but we definitely need Slovakia and whatnot. Actually, are we just finding somebody else right now? Oh, we Oh, look at that. Romania, eh? Huh. Well, we're reintegrating Slovakia first. And I read this one last time too. So it's really keen with Lombardy and Venetia. So you're in this one again, please go ahead. So we're doing this. You know what? I guess it's probably best. Let's go to War of the Romania first. And I might make him actually turn him into a puppet, perhaps. Yeah, maybe we'll see. Oh, that one too. Well, I guess we're you know it's still gonna go to war soon anyways. You guys can go there. You think you can go there. You can go right there. Let's see what we can do with that. I don't think we have enough time to make an actual huge fleet. There you go. So keep one on this one for a while. You know what, for now? You have five, yeah, five divisions. That's fine enough. Mm, I guess Romanian Puppet would probably be best. And we really hate them. Of course, they do have Bulgaria with them, too. 
We can completely deny the Romanians access to the sea if we gave this to Bulgaria, but then I guess they don't claims on it. Hmm. We did have options. Here, do that. You know what, you? Come there, too. Virginia Company is very nice. Uh, it's 1941. Got some more construction speed. Group anti air is nice. Empty tank, just in case maybe we might honestly need it for this campaign since Germany doesn't exist. So Union does exist, but you know, it's not super important. Uh, sure, why not? What are we even building? We're building all this stuff, huh? It's nice. Call for war, it's fine. And sovereignty, it's fine. Yeah, boom, boom. Need more oil. Always need more oil. Let's see what they say. Hello? Come on. Man, it's slow. There you go. The Norwalk Defense Council requests trade of military expertise for ball bearings. The Norwalk Defense Council is requested to trade their invaluable ball bearings, which would be a major resource for a war effort, against sharing a military expertise with them. The Nordic government seems to seek out ways to even the playing field with the more military advanced European powers in a potential future conflict. A mutual beneficial trade. We lose army, air, and naval XP. Uh, I'm okay with that. Sure, we'll try that. Return of the Holy City. Palestine. Huh. We demand the Holy Land. That might be interesting. The Kingdom of Jerusalem was abolished upon this conquest by the Egyptian Mamluks in 1291, but our emperor still carries the title of Kingdom of Jerusalem through the House of Lorraine, Leopold I. Uh, it is high time that we, the protectors of the Catholic faith, reclaim the Holy City of Jerusalem and do what the Crusaders could not. Hey, they accept a Habsburg monarch. Okay. Well. What is up with everyone just giving us stuff? Because I didn't program it this way. I'm not sure if you can. The wise leadership of the Kingdom of Lombardy, Venetia, has decided to crown a Habsburg monarch in accordance with their demands, step down and place with the new king. Robert von Habsburg, Archduke of Austria Est. Well, welcome aboard, y'all. So we'll go to war with Romania. Maybe we we'll take out Serbia too. You know what? Just for the way it looks, I think I will go just pop with them. Good. Uh huh. Very nice. Let's do the real test. See if we can actually do well or not. Boop, boop, boop. We're gonna need a little bit more fuel than this. Oh, actually, have enough for Look at that. Good, good, good. No ships, unfortunately. No, I was wondering, I thought we had more planes than this. There we go. Alright. You need to leave. 190 days is kind of insane. Just how Rogosan goes down by 25% anyways. Why does it take so freaking long? End of the League of Nations, very nice. Totally not unexpected. Oh, whoops, I forgot to increase trade there. Oopsie. My bad. I guess we still try it. Palestine still exists. Um, initiate army maneuvers. The army must be brought back in shape for potential armed conflicts. So the army maneuvers are dealt with tactics and strategies. Oh, look at that. Could you guys win here? That sign stands firm in the Holy Land. Oh, that's not good. Uh, though not entirely unexpected, the foolish Ahmed Helmi Pasha of Palestine put the nation's troops on high alert at receiving an ultimatum. It's an envoy stand that they not take one step back regarding the dispute. Well, let's go. I'm going to regret their decision now. Now we don't need you. We 
we do generic attack, it's probably pretty darn rough. So we'll try it. So we're losing the south, we're doing okay in the north. Did we just get in four souls? No. Oh, we have absolute air superiority, which is good. Alright. How many minutes have we lost? 41,000? That's not great. We've got quite a few Romanians, though. There we go. And this one. Tap the newfound oil deposits. Many small oil wells have been discovered throughout the country. For example, the Magia, America, Olje Part, Zurich. Or also known as Mayart. One of the is the BPO discovery, which can be explored as quickly as we can. Yeah, why not? Stabs Tangos Academy Sciences, you betcha. Here was Universal Elite Forces, it's fine. That's fine, okay, go ahead. Diversify it. Mm, it's kind of a mixed bag. We might need more artillery, in all honesty. Really heavy ship, heavy ship holes. Sure, why not? Yeah, how much artillery do we actually have? Oh, uh, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. We are at war. Can't go to war economy, which sucks. Since it's Good thing we have good hospitals on these guys, too. Atomic research is nice. Maybe one. All but you move in there. Russia cast kind of does suck, not gonna lie. There you go. Destruction, extraction is good. What else we got here? If we can take this, I would open up a few more problems for us to take and encircle these guys here too. Pressure, more pressure, and that's good. We've lost 52 versus 304,000. Good, pretty good, pretty good. Keep working on our air XP. Good. What do we got here? I do want to get down here, so. Um, that's not bad. Lose our stability a little bit. Yeah, it turns Italian like autarchy. What well, doesn't reach out in there just yet? Let's go this one. Magar Alam Mufsutak. Our state railway company, the MAF, should be expanding their duties so that they can run on every train in the country. Doing well allows greater control over tracks and for more efficient utilization of a railway network. Oh, we'll get electric with that. Probably can't win there, huh? You all hold. Oh, that's the case. Oh, that's good too. Proof anti air. Just get some better arty. Hmm. Are we there yet? Come on. 
Pennsylvania. You're so close. Good. Expand the technical university of Budapest. Require more bright minds come with a breakthrough discoveries of agents in the conflicts ahead. While we'll expanding Calvin's university, we can increase the pool of skilled engineers and scientists for military industry. There we go. That's looking better over here already. It's looking better here too. Are they out of equipment or something? They're like running out of manpower, which is nice to see. They got plenty of infantry equipment though. Unfortunate. Hello? Can you guys actually help him down here, maybe? Perhaps not. Yeah, probably not. It's alright. We'll expand down here, then. No. Just because they're moving doesn't mean you move. Happy 42, everybody. There we go. Continue doing span around. Not bad. Of course, we have some more supply issues because they don't want to steep or whatever. Uh -huh. Could you guys go here? Let's cut them off. Should be a great thing. Good job. Alright, another Sylvania. Hope this world will be over by then. Oh, did they actually cut him off or not? I hope so. There you go. Oh, no, because uh, these guys are too. Oi. Hmm. Be too fruitful. We try a generic attack. Uh, what are you for here? That's good. Help him out. Do not let him move. And immediately start, start doing this. Come on, you should be able to beat him up. Here. Grab you. I'm gonna force the attack. There you go. Good. Oh, we could do that one. Hmm. Multi ethnic empire. Integrate the Bohemian and Indian Austrian industries. The other constituent states of our empire have powerful industries of their own. It'd be wise to integrate these into ourselves. And now they're once again brought, been brought back into the fold. Don't really go to the world. Well, we might have to justify it's fine. It's fine, whatever. Or we can call our allies in. Oh no, they're oh, they're guaranteed by England? Bro, really? These guys are all in the same alliance with these guys. Are you kidding me, bro? Come on. Hmm. Fine, we'll wait then. Romania just has so many freaking soldiers, it's not funny. How much already be out? It's quite a bit. Extraction. It's fun. Good. It looks like they're starting to move some soldiers around in a way. Well, without this, they're kind of screwed in terms of supply. You're not. You're not going to leave. Oh no, you're not. Good. 
Nope. Come on. Nice. Come on. I got rid of some enemy tank divisions. That's good too. I'm sorry I'm taking forever with this. It's not easy. There you go, finally. Woo. All right, I think we're in a pretty darn good spot. Took the oil fields, which is great. I think. No, maybe not. We need Bucharest. Well, we're almost around Bucharest, then. Huh? Not a big deal. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, we got him. Love how it worked out like that. Hmm. Well. I guess I think we still have time, huh? Oh, I guess not. Darn it, we ran out of time. Well, whatever. It's fine. Well, I just should have annexed them. I wanted them as a puppet. Yeah, but then I give it. Ah, I should not really done this. It's my bad. Eh. Whoopsie. My bad. Well, it's direct, direct oil rule. That was kind of. That was actually really much of a struggle. That's not good. All right, what is this next? So much already we out now. None. Which is good because we need to throw up a lot more stuff for our guys too. I have extra planes as well. I guess I did want to do this one as well. Multi Empire. I don't lose that much political power, but I'm okay with that. Especially going down to here. Oh, what is this? Indivisible and inseparable. I didn't realize this. Oh. Okay, well, I'm glad I looked at this. Thousand Year Federation. Hmm. All people who know that must defend their homes, but our newfound federation will surely fall there not realize the importance of cross border cooperation and aid in protecting that which is dear to one's neighbors as well. Nice. Oh, do not even get the basic armor? Oh, okay. Huh. Did not realize that either. I am just not realizing anything, anything am I? Basic. Should have advanced planes by now. What is this? Subs? No. Ah. Tap derm derm oil fields. Oil fields. So we're halfway there, which is not bad. I'm gonna just see if we can do it just by ourselves first, perhaps. I doubt we could, but let's just see how much damage they could do to us first. As much as I want recon, we're gonna throw an empty tank on here too. We need a lot of artillery, artillery, and then a lot of artillery. Uh, that's not bad, huh? Much ability and political power. Do industrial planning. Maybe doing all those stuff first would probably be better. Or might think for last, because there's stuff we gotta do here too. Hmm. 
you know. The Magyar Legerio is an Air Force branch for military. We were forbidden from owning military aircraft. However, a good air arm was gradually established under the cover of civilian flying clubs. Now with new treaties in place, we can announce the existence of the world. Go with the New Zealand armor, huh? Sure, we'll go for that basic stability. There you go, Alright. Attack. Are you level 5 yet? Nope. Control this. Maybe it's Puppet then. Let's see what happens then. I mean, that's all Puppet to have. Calls for war. Okie dokie. Group anti air is good. Very nice. Yeah, Palestine. I'm glad we had that until the end of the game. Um, establish a Mavag aircraft factory. Isthan Horthy will collaborate with the Mavag to establish new factories dedicated to the production of aircraft. I'll um, probably begin a delivery of new technology to the Magyar Legerio. Sure, why not? Oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting them to go to war, but okay. We need some guns. No, it's way too early. Common turn. Oh, well then. That was a really poor choice by them. Really, extremely poor. Of course, we also need Ukraine under us too. Oh, well, they start attacking us. Maybe it wasn't a poor choice. They are strong, aren't they? Ooh. Been embargoed by Australia. Uh... Now we call all of our allies in. Do we do that? I'm sure they're going to be relatively strong. But they're going to be losing a lot of things here. Lots and lots and lots of strength and manpower. Puppets. Is that going on? Let's see. Oh, oh, they're actually doing all this stuff. Reform the common army. Great. Strength of the common man. The more puppets we have, the more we, faster we can get through all this stuff. That's awesome. It's actually really cool. And they already did joint industrial planning. Optimize land usage. Because I wouldn't mind. Where is it? Learning their autonomy would be great. Going all the way down here. Yeah. And Imperium restored. Oh, we know as Austria Hungary. Multi ethnic empire. Hmm. Expand the Dios Gua machinery factory. Uh, this factory should be expanded into more sectors, allowing for faster production of industrial materials and tools, engines and motorcycles, many other things. Oh, reforming. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. I love that. We're losing a lot of these battles. Okay, go forward. We've lost 78,000, which is not great. <laughs> Attack where you can. That's good. You know, the airbase away from them, which is awesome. Boop, 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 boop. This is fine, whatever. No, how are we losing this? 
We have air superiority. Yeah, we're losing. Ah, resuscitate the Magyar Lloyd. Urupologep es Motogyar. Utilizing Mr. Kill Ministry. Sure. Words in the skies. If you remember this, please go ahead. Boop. We have 45% war score. How much do they have? Uh, oh. What does Rush have? 27%, huh? Hello, get over there too. No, go this way, King Kong. How are we losing? Good. It's good to have a little defensive line around the river. Early cruiser holes, nice. Naval gunnery, good. Ah, they're attacking us too. As long as we don't we lose this style, we'll be okay. I'm surprised to see how strong they still are. They're all screaming the barrel though, so I'm not sure how strong they're gonna be for how much longer. They got a lot of artillery and infantry, but that's pretty much it. the aluminum industry. We require all available resources, both for export and for domestic use. Our aluminum industry, though already expansive, has further room for improvement and we should direct, direct resources to this and, and help this immediately. Fantastic. Economic cooperation, joint industrial planning, it's awesome. Oh, I should probably get through all this stuff too. Oh, air reform, finally, yay. Too much sense while you're doing too open there. And of course we just how are we losing? Like how? I get it that they're thick. Do we need thicker divisions? I don't think so. Good, good. Planes aren't back rated, like I said. Still. As far as the Russians aren't doing that much better, I mean, they're. I guess there's a lot of territory. There's not a lot of it there, but still. And then attacking us is very good as well. Uh, help our planes out. That's fine. Oh, Danubian Central Bank, that's awesome. Translatonian Autarky, we are far too dependent on foreign sources of oil. I like the German efforts to develop in synthetic oil and strengthen our economies we can stand our own two feet. Thank you for the Principality of Albania. Awesome. Motorizing the armies is good too. Oh. Well, that's Belgium, I guess. Wow, Belgium was pretty strong earlier. Huh. Invest in the Diosgori Gepitar Ujbar plant. Sure, why not? Actually, you know what? Screw this one. Just look this one next. Okay. It's fine. Hmm. Nice, some 
suicide pills. I do want to attack here, but I don't think we'll win. Give him more planes we deploy, perhaps? Marcus gone. Good. Huh. We're still pushing into them, which is good to see. Six divisions. Bro. You all get captured. <sighs> the person who went in, the rest of the people got captured. What the heck? Like this. Sure. Now can you guys win here? No, you literally cannot. This is not good. Hmm. Organizational exercises. Range, mechanized, fuel game for oil, attack and defense. Well, I'm glad they're trying this. Factory output, our tension, this is better. Our factories need to work not only during wartime, but obviously also during peacetime. The perfect rule, the latter would be vastly more important than the former. Unfortunately, this is not perfect. We still cannot ignore our peacetime industrial endeavors, however. Well, thank you. I'm gonna do that's fine. Hmm. These are our normal divisions. 27 combat is pretty darn good already. I don't think there's really much we can change with this. Oh, not of the North American Coalition, huh? Turkish Empire, goddamn. Look at this. North American Coalition. Training, it's nice. Well, there's people killing each other now, which is good. Boop. How many more days do we have until advanced planes? It's, uh... Look at that. They tried a naval invasion, didn't work. See, no manpower. Battery, it's fine. Let's see. Okay, so now we're doing the land auction, which is nice. Finally, we got supply through here. Oh. Good. I'm gonna go that way too. Good. We have a NASA defense position right there too. Good. I'm gonna break over the river. Is he better? Oh god dang it, no we can't. That's stupid. Now that's showing up the line, which is pretty nice. So efforts. All right, so they're gonna figure all that out. I love that, that we can do it jointly. Multi ethnic empire. Our empire encompasses many different peoples and cultures, and something we must embrace fully, creating a large autonomy to the different localities of our realm, making people want to stay as a part of us for the years to come. Come on, you should be able to do this. There you go. Eighty-seven percent. Very good. 
Okay, so how are they doing up north? Oh, the Russians went straight through Riga. Holy crap. These guys are all cut off. That's not, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of impressive. That's way too many divisions there to attack. This is a lot of divisions here, too. You guys can do this. It's fine. Brick over the river. Brown little areas where you can exploit, definitely, for sure. I kind of want to see them get snipped here. Oh, they got encircled there too. Kingdom of Jordan. It's quite bad for them, is it not? Palestine joined North America. Okay, this is a weird timeline. Very strange. Good, third field hospital is awesome. We're just trying to use this campaign to catch up to the, in the world to everything. Very good. Ah, they invaded there too. Look at that. Very nice. Look at the separate end. We're not going to win everywhere. But by God, this better work. It. I want if we take more casualties, that's okay. Get more war score participation. Okay, yeah, so these guys are all gonna crumble here, which would be great. We're at 50, why is it 55? As long as Russia doesn't is lower, that's fine. And now they're about to go bye bye. It's very good to see. I could do this, but I don't know. Wait, I just integrate these real subjects. Okay. Renovato Imperia of Romanorum. The renewal of the Empire of the Roman Romans was formulated declaring intention to restore or revive the Roman Empire. It's been used many times since being coined. We should do the same and officially announce our intention to restore the Austro Hungarian Empire and bring it to greatness. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Very nice. Just in case. They might go to war with us, I doubt it. Oh, they're 85. That's not very much. I'm gonna build a wall. So they can't take this to further the wall. Take the rest of it? No, darn it. They can have that northern stuff. No, no. Nope. Because I also want their ships. Not much, but it's something. Don't really take that too. God dang it! Should be at least that much. Come on. I can't even reach that state. There we go. Whoops. I wanted to puppet them. Oh, there you go. Ah, and there we go. We did it. We still kept our territories, too. Welcome back, King of Poland. Wydysla Sikorsky, Patriotic Guerrilla. Weekly Exile Government Manpower. Leftist Sejum. Oh, that's not good. Polish Socialism. We're gonna go Communist anyways. So that's not good. No, that's really not ideal. 
Any scientists down? There we go. Two engines? Oh, that's fine. Hmm. Tons of planes. Look at that. Oh, Miklos Worthy, welcome back. Interesting. Oh, and we're up here too. Well then. Can we take on the common turn? I'd like to go to Serbia. I think it'd be a little bit more fun if they do. Because who wants to protect the Serbs? So with all that done, does Poland, is that, are they able to help research stuff too? Or do the focus tree as well? They're doing that, which is great. Processing. Nice. Good. Ground support's good too. Good work. That's good too. Hmm. Very nice. That's a non-negotiation pick day. All right, whatever. There we go. Good. Finally, thank God. You know what? I'm gonna go this first. Thing. I'm not sure we'd use a fleet four at this point. You know, plenty of guns, plenty of arty, plenty of anti-air, anti-tank. It's good stuff, really. Maybe one more episode after this, we can actually make tanks. Might be a little fun. Oh, we just we just become Austria Hungary. I like how we change colors, so integrate these different lands. Translatonia, like Czechoslovakia and so on. Having secured all of Austro-Hungarian imperial lands, the Translatania government as representatives of the last remaining successor states. I've now begun the reintegrating these territories. Government directed propaganda was flared up, extolling the glory days of the empire, and a clear effort to rally the population behind the widespread national reforms and return to imperial reforms or norms. In spite of these, the Translatania government has announced the restoration of Austria-Hungary. Strange the nation's official name to reflect this. The dual monarchy rises again. Oh, that's cool. We can still do this, all right? So there, there's that. There's that. This Poland's not doing this, though. Well, I'm continue doing stuff there. I don't want to fully integrate everybody yet, so. All right, value the revalue the Pegu. No, I want to do something else. Magia Kralvi Sedendorsid. She endeavor to spread the strong Hungarian agenda, Mari, allow them more autonomy, and give them more freedom to choose how they act when suppressing rebellions and fighting off enemy skirmishers. Nice, good stuff, guys. Turkish Empire is pretty thick. I don't like that. Coming out of the Mediterranean to fight those guys and then fight these guys because we're losing over there, which is pretty nice. I don't know land doctor, that's right. Good. Smoke and fire, that's fine. Why are they guaranteed by England? I freaking hate England. Oh, we're gonna need a navy. Um, honestly, I might just kick him out of the faction. That's so stupid. Oh, we're just finding you guys too. England, eh? I don't want to wait anymore. We're going in. Screw England. Good. 
I'll take on the Turks next. Probably the next episode as well. Thank you. It's fine. Uh huh. So, well, gain cards on the former Austrian Garden territories they, oh, they own. Six. Are there any other cores that Austria has? It's fine, no one cares. Mm -hmm. Of course, maybe we want to go to war with the Soviets first. Because they're larger and tougher, maybe. Fight. That's an idea. Mm. You know, Lombardy. I don't even know what cores or anything else. Well, I guess we can probably core you guys first. 50 days. There you go. It's not too, not too bad. Balta, eh? Very nice. Now we did see that they like to navally invade, so that might be an issue. Huh. Realize European unity. Union of European states. Well, hmm. Green batteries. Let's see a black army. In order for cavalry and military police to function better, we should model them after a legendary king, Matthias Cornelius's black army, which was in turn inspired by the great military of the Roman general and the Emperor Julius Caesar legions. Bagua, the Comey Republic, eh? Hmm. How strong are these guys? Oh, they have no manpower. Okay then. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Are we building there? I guess we are, huh? Quite a bit. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Just in case. Boop, yourself right there, too. Boop, 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 boop. You can never go wrong with enough planes. You really can't. That's why we need more rubber. Do we? Oh. Do we integrate them yet? Who do we integrate? Do we integrate anybody? Oh, yeah, they do. So they accepted demands for the lands to be integrated back into the crown of Austria-Hungary. Today's a good day for the Empire. All is well in the world. Oh, go look at that. Yeah, oh, we got, their, we got their vehicles, too. We got their ships. It's not to love. Fantastic. Awesome. Hmm. I'll do that off screen too. Wow. Well, it's not that bad actually. I oh, actually have a tank division too. We'll scrap that and make our own whatever we want. We have mountaineers. Yeah, that's pretty good to have as well. Nice. Cavalry templates now. I'm looking to focus on this. Oh, I almost deleted them. Oh, that would have been bad. Oop, 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 oop. Cool. Well, it's good to see that that thing actually works. That's pretty nice. Looks like the Black Army. Let's read one more. Form the Gyorsha Dest. 
which is to form a rapid core modern well equipped mechanized unit that can outperform enemy battalions in battle. As such, two Gyorsha test divisions will be created, one under Major General Lionel Major and the other under Major General Ferenc Biska. And expand the uh, Honveset. Our current standing army, the Honved, is way too small to properly stand a chance against our neighbors. Once therefore attempt to increase the size of the army as rapidly as possible. But we'll end it there. Um, in the next episode, we'll try to do as much as we possibly can, expanding, 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 as we reintegrate the Empire and realize European unity, maybe. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to have a lot of warfare to do and to beat everybody up. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.